Hello and welcome darlings. My name is Diazi and I'm a watercolor artist based in New York. Today I'll be talking about the first series I created in 2021 while I share the pieces and my art process with you. The Red Glove series, Autumn Winter 2021, The Story. Wouldn't it be nice to walk through a forest of dense vines and willow-like branches? Soundlessly weeping, the trees trunkless, ghosts. While walking through the stream, the botanicals brush you with the gentlest touch. Red dandelions, enormous, fat and fluffy. The climate is just right, the mood serene. And how did you come to be in such an oniric scene? Just so, as the environment shifts while you move through, yet remaining just the same as though you're not moving at all. A homeostasis of infinity and transience, which brings us to the girl in the glove. It's you, you're a young woman for the everlasting moment, clad in peachy garments and blessed with chestnut-colored skin, a matching tassel of hair, red lips, red boots, red fingernails. Your exquisite hands rarely looked upon as they're sheathed in embroidered gloves. You are a calm woman, but your heart beats a little faster when you realize through all the shuffle you have lost a piece of your outfit. You look down at your hands, one stark naked, you haven't seen your hands in ages. A part of your protection has gone missing and the skin of your hand is bare. Your fingers are free to feel the surrounding environment. As you rediscover your ability, you also uncover that anything you touch, your hand goes through it and meets a cozy sensation. As pleasant as petting a fuzzy kitten. The glove is gone suspended and lonesome in an abstract exhibit, no longer clad in precious cargo, a woven fabric designed to protect from hazard, yet with it amiss, an opportunity arises. With your hands, you feel, detect, mend, communicate, create, and destroy, if you want to. How long since you have last thought about this gift, and what have you done with it? You travel through the dream, but not much seems to change besides the orientation of the swallowing flowers and leafy veins of this garden. You might look back, but what you find in front of you is even more curious. A face, peering so close you meet the delicate breath on your angel's kiss. Brightly lit up, beaming ethereally. Whose face have you looked upon? Why, it's your own, of course. Yet this is most difficult to understand when you don't encounter such mirrors in your waking state. As if you met a perfect copy of yourself, you can reach out and inspect your face every bit. When was the last time you explored your face, yourself as you are? Do you know yourself? Now she does. Perhaps it's time for us again too. The series has five paintings made with watercolor and archival inks. I created this series intending to set up a dreamlike scenario to explore matters of self-discovery. The story is based on how we are a part of our habitat. It is not so much about the red glove, but what happens when it goes missing. We can lose a sense of blessing of our abilities when we become comfortable with them. The glove uncovering the character's hand creates a moment in which can remind us of our remarkable capabilities. She exists in a setting that is continually the same such that she begins to explore herself after she mysteriously loses something material. So through the eyes of a dreamy stranger, we can take time to consider ourselves in the waking state. We don't need a mirror for this. One can find a space without distraction and study one's face using our hands. When the concept of rediscovery of the self is set in a surreal timeline, it holds more contrast and allows us to see the need to come back to ourselves and reflect. To put a pause on everything once in a while and check in with ourselves to explore. May it be physical or just to sit and wonder. If you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon for only a dollar a month. You can also check out my website and Instagram. The links will be in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.